Progressivism is an umbrella label for a wide range of economic, political, social, and moral reforms in the first two decades of the 20th century. These reform efforts included efforts to regulate child labor and sweatshops, scientifically manage natural resources, ensure pure and wholesome water and milk, Americanize immigrants or restrict immigration altogether, and bust or regulate trusts, a term for large corporations. Drawing support from the urban, college-educated middle class, progressive reformers sought to eliminate corruption in government, regulate the business practices of increasingly powerful corporations, address health hazards, and improve working conditions. They also fought to give the public more direct control over government through direct primaries to nominate candidates for public office, direct election of senators, the initiative, the referendum, the recall, and also women's suffrage. By the beginning of the 20th century, progressive muckraking journalists were calling attention to the exploitation of child labor, corruption in city governments, and the ruthless business practices employed by businessmen like John D. Rockefeller. At the local level, many progressives sought to suppress red light districts and replace corrupt urban political machines with more efficient systems of municipal government. At the state level, progressives enacted minimum wage laws for women workers, instituted industrial accident insurance, restricted child labor, and improved factory regulation. At the national level, Congress, urged on by the progressives and led by Republican President Theodore Roosevelt, passed laws establishing the federal regulation of the meatpacking, drug, and railroad industries, and strengthened antitrust laws. Under Democratic President Woodrow Wilson, Congress also lowered the tariff, established federal control over the banking system, and enacted legislation to improve working conditions.